Welcome, welcome back to Teacher Look class, and this is Survey of Mathematics Chapter 3 Logic, and this is Part 5. And just for a reminder again that if you need this file for your study, for your notes, feel free to download it, download it from my description box. And today, we'll be continuing with 3.5. And I believe that you remember, in the previous video, we talked about in the 3.4, we talked about equivalent and variations of the conditional statement and condition conditional statement as you know it is if then we talk about the equivalent and also talk about the variation of the conditional statement and when we come to 3.5 it have another one saying that negation of conditional statements so uh, the conditional statement is kind of many patterns you know yeah so it it have a lot of things to discuss and today, so today will be the video will be kind of short and also kind of easy because we only will talk about the negation of the conditional statement here and also talking about something called De Morgan's Law. Okay, and you look at these kids, my face when I remember De Morgan's Law. So, why, why, why is it so happy? Because it is kind of easy, huh? It is very easy. Okay, meaning, and let's talk about this. Without looking at the notes first, let's look at here. Let me explain. As we, as we know, conditional statement is something like P2Q. Yeah, that is a conditional statement. And now, we talk about, we especially talk about negation today. And even De Morgan's law is about negation too. So, P2Q. According to the rules for negation of conditional statements, once this thing, it undergoes, okay, it undergoes, it undergoes negation, negation, okay, as you know, this is negation, it will become P and negation Q, okay, so it's, it's kind of weird, yeah, why suddenly, a if then suddenly become an N, However, this is the rules for negation. Okay, so let me write it down again in a proper and clear way. So again, P to Q, if this thing undergoes undergoes negation, okay, it will become P and negation Q. So when you look at this one, you can somehow understand that, hmm, so if P to Q undergo negation can become P and negation Q, is that means that the negation of P to Q, I mean, which means that this negation of P to Q is equivalent to P and negation Q. Is it the same thing here? This one and this one. Yes, it is the same thing. So basically, somehow, yeah, we somehow can try to relate the negation of conditional statements can somehow become an equivalent statement too. So just like this, P to Q, and when it undergoes negation, it will become P and negation Q, which means that the negation of P to Q is equivalent to P and negation Q. Okay, that is how, that is what negation of conditional statements is about. And we are done for the first part. It's kind of easy, right? And let's talk about De Morgan's law. And De Morgan's law is even easier. Okay. But before this, let me just ask you a question here. If I, I ask you a, a question here, an algebra question. Negative x plus y. What is the answer here? Most probably we'll say, hmm, we'll expand this one times in here, times in here. So it will become negative x plus no not plus. But because of negative positive, it becomes negative. So negative x and minus x. And that's the correct answer. And let me ask you, what if there's a neg negative and I put a negative x plus positive y? Negative times with negative, it will become a positive x. And negative times with positive, it will become a negative y. And that's correct. Okay? Now, this is what will be experienced in De Morgan's Law, okay? 
let me show you De Morgan's Law. De Morgan's Law happens only when it is O or when it is N. Okay. So here says that okay, when P and Q, okay, example P and Q undergoes negation, it will become negation P or negation Q. So it might look complicated in this way, but if we put it in this way, the equivalent way, it will become negation of P and Q is equivalent to negation of P or negation of Q. So if you try to look properly, actually this is what we discussed just now. We can assume that the negation is the negative. Okay, so let's look at it. Negative and positive, okay, which we just assume. When we times in, it will become negative. And negative and positive, since we have nothing here, it will become negative. And there's a special thing here which algebra doesn't have, which is the negation here will times with the n sign also. And once it times with the n sign, it will become an O sign. Okay, so so let's try another one. Okay, example, I would say P N negation Q. Now I want to find a negation of this statement. So what this will equivalent to? So again, negation times with nothing, it will become negation. And negation when we times with N, it will become O. And when negation, we times with negation, it will become nothing here. So it will become Q. And that's it. Let's try one more. Negation, we times with the negation of P and Q. So what it will be equivalent to? Negation times with negation, it will become nothing. Negation, we times with N, it will become O. And negation, once it times with nothing here, it will become negation Q. Okay, I hope you got a concept. And it is exactly the same thing when it is in the situation of O. Remember, when it is N, it will become O. When it is O, it will become N. Okay, so just like, let's look at an example here. Negation of P O Q. Remember, negation with, without negation here, it will be negation P. Just like negative and positive will become negative. Okay, this is the concept there. And negation once it times with all, it will become N. And of course, negation with times with Q, it will become negation Q. Okay, if you want more, one more example, just for your information, example P O negation Q. Let me let me just put two negation here. Okay. Negation of negation P or negation Q. So it will be equivalent to negation, negation, no negation. Negation or it will become N. Negation of negation, it will become nothing. And here we will have P. And that's it. So it's kind of easy, okay? And that is De Morgan's law, okay? And now, once we know about these two rules, Let's try to do the questions here. Write the negation of if it is red, then it is not an egg. Okay, so let, let's try to write in a simple statement first. If it is red, so it is red, then R, it is not an egg. However, we will not include not because there is a negation. So it is an egg. Okay, so try to look at this one. It is red, it is an egg. Okay, so we will try to put it in a symbolic form. It is red, then it is not an egg. Okay, so uh, maybe sh I should change this to Q instead. Okay, PQ. Okay, you might be questioning why, why we must put PQ and that is what how we do it always. So we can just we try to just remain it. Okay, it is not an egg, so it will be negation of Q. Okay, negation of Q. And now, as we know here, P to Q. When we 
do a negation that's when if you put negation of this thing it will be equivalent to p will be p and q will be negation of q however this time that we have negation of q so in this case we know that it will be p and q without the negation why because when we have when we don't have negation okay, just look at here it becomes negation so when we have negation it becomes no negation okay so now based on this concept then we can write here p and q so the conclusion here the negation of p2 negation q is it is straight and it is an egg and that is our negation okay okay i hope you get a concept and if you know let's try one more question here if you do not have a fever you do not have the flu okay so let's always write in the simple statement here if you do not have a fever so i will put here you have a fever because we doesn't want to include the negation you do not have the flu you have the flu okay and we will write it in a symbolic form if you do not have a fever so negation of p2 do not have the flu negation of q and of course you see if you notice p will be p okay so in this case we will write it as the negation of the whole thing here will be equivalent to negation p maybe remain negation p in this case okay and two oh no i mean not two in this case is n okay and negation p n here we have negation the concept basic here is s o same and opposite for the next one so same and opposite for the next one q and that it, it is okay so here it will be so in conclusion it will be e uh, you do not have a fever fever and you have the flu and that it is the negation okay so it's kind of complicated when we look at it however when we try to do it step by step and according to the rules and sequence yes it is easy okay so let's try the next question here write the statement that is equivalent to so when we look at this one hmm how are we gonna do it so let's try to look at it so here it says that it is not true that Atlanta and California are cities okay now the questions now this now it requires negation but now it requires the statement that equivalent to so you might say hey equivalent is talking about the last last video 3.4 however remember what we are doing here also somehow is about equivalent to you can see here 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 so don't worry too much and let's try to look at the questions here it is not true that atlanta and california are cities so remember when it is coming that it is not true that we have discussed in our i think previous two quite uh two videos in the video of let me check in the video of 3.2 the second video we've discussed about when it is not true coming up in an english statement it means that the negation of something okay so for sure our symbolic form have negation of something when it comes up with it is not true that okay so let's look at it and we say p atlanta is city okay 
Atlanta is city. I may say Q. California is city. Okay, so we can see that Atlanta and California are city. So we can know that it is P and Q. Okay. However, because of the it is not true that it has a negation of this one. And just now we learned that P and Q with the negation, it gets you negation P or negation Q. And now, since it is given the negation now, just now it is not given, right? And ask for the negation. And now it's given the negation. So now that it is equivalent to Negation, no negation, it will be negation P. Negation with and, it will become or. And negation without negation, it will be negation Q. So we want to write this in the form of, in the form of equivalent, it will be this one. Atlanta is not. Uh, it's not a city. Yeah, here should be a. Uh, it's a city. It's not a city. Or California is not a city. And that's it. That is how we write the equivalent statement based on the negation. Okay. Remember when we talk about negation. When we put negation there, and it's equivalent to the negation one, okay? Let's look at the next questions here. It is not true that, okay, it is not true that Law and Jack are billionaires, okay? So we can write in a simple statement that P, Law is a billionaire, okay? And Q. Jack is a billionaire. Okay. And now, we will write it in the statement again. Okay. It is not true that, so we always have a negation and a parenthesis. Jack is a billionaire. The law is a billionaire. Jack is a billionaire. So, law and Jack is a billionaire. So, of course, it will be equivalent to Negation times with P, it will be negation P. Negation N, it will be O. Negation times Q, it will be negation Q. Okay. However, remember that this time we also learned another way of negation, right? Let's try another way, okay? This time we learn about P to Q if it is being negated it will be equivalent to P and negation Q. So just now we try the De Morgan's law. Let's try about this one, okay? Okay. So of course, it is the same thing that we can see this one. Negation of this one become this one. So we also can say this one is a negation of P and negation Q. Isn't it the same thing, okay? And since here, P, P, negation Q become Q. So remember the concept here, same opposite. So in the same way here, it will become P to the negation of Q. Same and opposite. So here you also can write that if law is a billionaires then Jack is not a billionaire okay so that is the concept here so feel free to use whichever which one to negate it okay to get an equivalent statement here okay I remember for the conditional, it only happens in the form of M. Okay, it doesn't happen in the form of O. Okay, 
and the last one here. It is not true that they will be judged by the color of their skin or not by the content of their characters. We know that P is they will be judged by the color of their skin or not by the content of the characters. So we know the Q is they will be judged by remember the not we are not including because it is a negation by the content of their characters. So in the form of this one, we know that it is in the sequence of P or means that or not. So it's negation of Q. And that is okay. And of course it says that it is not true that so it is not true that. And remember, since this is all, we are not able to use the negation becomes a condition. Okay, so it will be equivalent to, and we will use De Morgan's law. Negation times P, it will be negation P. Negation and or it will become M. Negation and negation, it will become nothing here, and it will be Q. So if you want to write it is in conclusion, it will be there will not be judged by the color of their skin and by the content of their character. Okay? So it's kind of easy here. You just need to follow the step and the steps. Okay? And we have also the last three questions here for this video. And now, here again asking you to write the negation for each of the following statement. And here says, all students do laundry on weekends and I do not. And these questions, remember, here have something called all. All in this situation which means that this statement, see, because we will break this into a simple statements, right? It's so either be all students do laundry on weekends, and here say I I do not because of course not is a negation, so I will say I do. Laundry on weekend. Of course, we also cannot include. But it, it means the same thing here. And you see, the second, the, the I mean the P here says that all, which is a quantified statement. So remember, in the first video, we discussed that if you write, we want to write the negation of a, of a quantify statement we cannot just put it not there or it is not true that there no 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 we need to follow always follow the table here okay this is the table remember if you forget feel free to go back to our first video 3.1 to study and of course i've listed down here again if this is the statement we will change it the negation using the last one here okay some are and no are no are, some are, some are not, all are, okay? But before this, let's check about this first. So all students do laundry on weekends and I do not. So this statement actually tells you that P and I do not means that negation of Q. This is what the statement here, compound statement here stated. So now, since we need to find a negation, so we find the negation of this one is equivalent to negation times P, negation P. Negation times N, it will become O. 
negation times negations here, it will become nothing. Q. Of course, and now you got it. Okay. Now let's write the equal the statement here, the negation of the compound statement here. Negation of P. All students do laundry on weekend. So all students do laundry on weekend. So if you notice it is belongs to the first one here. All students do laundry on weekends. So the negation of this statement, because it's requiring here a right, negation P, are some A are not B. So some students are not doing laundry on weekend. So we will write it as some students students do not do laundry on weekends and here continues or q or i do laundry on weekend and that's it and that is how we do it oh, of course because since he say i do not so you can remove this one or i do that's all okay it's kind of easy and let's try the next questions here says that some college professors are entertaining lectures or i am bored okay so p some college professor are entertaining lectures or q i am bored okay and let's check it check this one okay and since here use all and there's no no not in between so we can assume that here p some college professors are entertaining lectures or i am bored so it is q here and now we need to find the negation according to the questions here so the negation the negation the negation of p or q is equivalent to according to de morgan's law will negation without negation it will be negation negation all it will become n and negation without negation it will become negation q so the conclusion here will become negation p and negation q so the negation of p some college professors are entertaining lecturers so we know that it is the second one here some college professors are entertaining lectures so the negation of that it will become no a r b so here it will be no college professor are entertaining lectures and here continues n n i am the negation so i am not bought and that's it for the questions b and the last one let's try looking at the last one all horror movies are scary and some are funny so p it will be so p will be all horror movies are scary and q some are funny actually it means some horror movie are funny okay and according to the statement here the compound statement here it is p and q because without any odd not right and if you want to get a negation maybe negation of this is equivalent to negation p it will be negation p negation n it will become o and negation q it will become negation q and and you need to look at the difference here here it says all horror movies are scary so it is the 
first one here. And the second one, some horror movies are funny. So it is the second one. So you might confuse that, hey, why, why this time have two? Why this time we need to change two become using this table, but here only one? Because, you see, like B, it only has some college professor attending lectures. And the second one is I am bored, which is are not a quantified statement. And also like the, the third three A here, all students here are quantified statement. However, for the statement Q, I do laundry on weekend is not a quantified statement. Because quantified statement always have all, some, and no. And that is a quantified statement. Okay? And let's look at here. Negation P or negation Q. So in conclusion, it will become all horror movies are scary. It will become some horror movies are not scary. And here is all. So all some horror movies are funny. It will be no horror movies are funny. And that's it. We are done for 3.5 about this, okay? So thank you so much for watching this video. And this video requires some of your basic knowledge from the previous videos. So feel free to go and go back and watch it, okay? And just for information, let me just conclude this one. If you want to know about this statement, we will go back 3.1, which is the part one video, okay? Part one. And if you want to know about the equivalent, more about equivalent, feel free to go back to the 3.4, okay? You want to know about three equivalent, okay? And of course, that's all, okay? So thank you so much. If you have any questions or any doubt, feel free to comment below and let me know. Thank you and be safe. Goodbye.